Hey Cancer, Rising Storm here. So I'm about to do your journal love reading for now until the end of September. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Um, take what applies for free to switch the store and I tell whatever you like, alright? So I'm going to be looking to your overall view, your energies, Cancer, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening? Possible option for now until the end of September 2022. What is going on with my Cancers and the person that Cancer is dealing with? Please give me an overall view, your energies, Cancer, the person that you're dealing with. Why is it all happening here? So what's happening with Cancer? So your overall view is the Nine of Wands. Somebody here is very closed off or very guarded. Ten of... There's blocks in communication or literally block communication. We'll see what's going on. So the overall view is someone being very guarded, all right? Very closed off when it comes to this connection. Uh, why is that Nine of Wands there? Why the Nine of Wands? Yeah, and so it's kind of like being guarded, right? Being closed off, not really putting the work uh, or the energy in this connection at all. So right now, no one's really, no one's really putting in the work. No one's really doing much. Things are kind of pretty much uh, stagnant. There's a lack of form movement here. You got the Ten of Wands, so you may be a little bit stressed or a little bit burdened or feeling burdened by this. Show me this Ten of Wands. Could be done with the fire sign. Doesn't have to be. Show me the Ten of Wands. Why is that Ten of Wands there? And the Seven of Swords. Why is that Ten of Wands there? Why the Ten of Wands? Too many. Why the Ten of Wands, please? So it's kind of like they're, whoever this is, is like they're feeling burdened by this connection. So it's like this person could be constantly on your mind or you're thinking he really heavily about this person or the things that happened in the past, all right? You may even have your eye on this person somehow for some, I don't know. Um, but it's something here is stressing you out in regards to clearing the air or having a new start with this person. Okay, show me that Seven of Swords. Show me the Seven of Swords. Yeah, and the world in reverse. So it's kind of like you feel like there's unfinished business between the two of you or a lack of closure. All right. And it's kind of like you feeling burdened by this because like this is constantly on your mind or you constantly thinking about this person. I feel like a part of you is definitely wanting to clear the air or have some sort of clarity or a new start in communication with this Ace of Swords there. Show me the Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords about? And the Nine of Pentacles. What is this Ace of Swords? Show me the Ace of Swords. So it's kind of like even though a part of you is definitely wanting to clear the air or to have some sort of communication with this person, it's like you're choosing to be single right now or you're choosing to focus on yourself, but at the same time, this is in the back of your mind. But at the same time, you're acting very cold, very detached. But this is really on your mind, though. I don't know what this is, man. Okay, show me. You got the chariot in reverse, so there's a lack of uh, forward movement here. There's a halt. There's blockages. Show me the chariot in reverse for the person that Cancer is dealing with. Show me the chariot in reverse for. And the seven of cups. Why the chariot in reverse? Oh, man. What is the seven of cups about? There could have been a third party situation here. I feel like whoever this is, even though things are not moving forward or there's a lack of form movement, I feel like there's a lot of confusion when it comes to this as well. It's not showing me clearly. Show me this chariot in reverse. Clarify this chariot in reverse. So they're in this energy of turning their back, all right? So I definitely do see that there's a possible third-party situation here. There's a lack of forward movement. They're in this energy or acting as if they're turning their back when it comes to this with that three of wands there. This person could have been blocked or you, you there could be literal block communication between the two of you with that eight of wands in reverse there. What is this eight of wands in reverse? Show me the eight of wands in reverse, please. 
Yeah, they're severing ties. So whoever this is, this is someone who is basically letting go of this or cutting ties with this connection, turning their back. All right, there's a lack of forward movement. Maybe somebody here could have kept their options open or whatever the case may be. Show me that seven of, sorry, show me the seven of cups holding back. All right. So this is someone who's definitely holding back. They're, they're, they're trying to sever ties or are severing ties with this connection. There is blocks in the communication. Why is all happening? Somebody here kind of like losing hope and faith or not as optimistic about this. Why the star in reverse? Why the star in reverse for? Show me the star in reverse, please. And the lovers, yeah. Somebody here is losing hope and faith in this connection. <clears throat> Alright, so it's kind of like not as optimistic like they used to be. I do see a connection here with the lovers card. But it's like, but it's like, Cancer, it's like you're being, you're stressing yourself out when it comes to this. Why the Seven of Swords? There could have been some sort of deception here that hap that that led to some sort of betrayal or some sort of ending that happened between the two of you as well. Why the Nine of Pentacles? King of Pentacles. But it's kind of like Cancer, you're still in this energy of even though you want to talk to this person or clear the air or have some sort of new beginning with them, it's like you're choosing to be very much stable or come across as someone who's single, someone who's not bothered by this or whatever the case may be, or you're just focusing on yourself. But at the same time, it's like you have this on your mind. Ten of Wands, feeling burdened by this, right? <sighs> All right. Um... How does Cancer see this person? What can you tell me? How does Cancer see this person? Knight of Cups in reverse. Why the Knight of Cups in reverse? Why is that there? And the Four of Wands. So it's like you see this person as someone that really isn't kind of like, you know, offering you anything or someone who's keeping their distance, being emotionally closed off right now. But at the same time, it's like you see this person as someone that you definitely would like to have a relationship with or have some sort of foundation with or something to be stable with with that Four of Wands there. But it's like at the same time, it's like you see this person as someone who's closed off. Maybe they could be avoiding you. But it's like you still see them as potential for a relationship or to get to to get to a point of stability or have like this foundation here with that four of wands. How does this person see cancer? How does this person see cancer, please? Nine of Swords. Why the Nine of Swords? They think um they oof. They see you as someone Maybe they feel like you, they're really in their head about this, whoever this is. But they see you as someone who might be overthinking the situation or might be in their head about it. Okay. What is this Queen of Swords about? Somebody got, somebody cut somebody off. But it's kind of like they're in their power, all right? They, they, they're, this person's in their power, even though they're in their head about you or they're in their you know, a little bit restless over this connection. There's a lot of confusion as well. They may fuck, they may, they may, um, they may see you as someone who's in their head as well. I'm kind of getting like this person still being in, it's like they're in their power, right? They're getting their own justice. They're finding their own balance here. But at the same time, it's a little bit of a struggle. They feel like you're in your head, or you may be in your head about this. I don't know what happened here. Could be dealing with the Libra. Um, what actions, what are Cancer's next actions if not yet already? What are Cancer's next actions if not yet already? Queen of Cups, why the Queen of Cups? Clarify that Queen of Cups, please. Clarify that Queen of Cups. And the Moon in Reverse. They're going to try to reveal their feelings, if not yet already, or let you let let you know how they feel. 
All right, so the, the moon in reverse, that's like revealing things, right? And then the Queen of Cups is clarified. So at some point, maybe if not yet already, they're going to want to reveal their feelings towards you and how they feel about the situation, if not yet already. Okay, you can be dealing with the Pisces. It doesn't have to be. I got Gemini as well. So what are this person's next actions towards um, towards Cancer? What can you tell me? What are what are their next actions towards Cancer? Two of Wands. Why the Two of Wands? Why the Two of Wands? And the Queen of Pentacles. So it's kind of like they're they're at a crossroads right now. Whether they should they should uh, have this or not. I feel like they're focused right now more on themselves with that Queen of Pentacles there. But they're at a crossroads, so their next actions is probably, it, it just seems that they're at a crossroads right now, and they're choosing themselves at the moment. There could be, there could have been others involved as well. So it's kind of like they're in this energy of being at a crossroads, right? But at the same time, it's like they're choosing themselves. Show me that two of wands. They don't, they have, they don't, tr it's like they have trust issues, all right, or there's a lack of, the faith they have in this connection so they're gonna be kind of a little bit up in the air all right I don't really see them taking much action if anything they're very focused on themselves here um what are uh cancer's intentions what can you tell me what are cancer's intentions when it comes to this connection The temperance and reverse and the wheel the, their intentions I feel like you're gonna be there's this energy of you being in your emotions about it but what in the world it's like they want it's like your intentions is like maybe you want things to move forward but it's like you know that things are not moving forward or there's a lack of forward movement but it's like you're in your feelings about it or you're you know, you're not really well balanced with the, in your emotions when it comes to this. But I, th I think your intention is to move things forward. But you know it's not. And you're a little bit, in, you know, you're in your, in your feelings about this here. What are this person's true intentions with cancer? What are their true intentions with cancer? Six of Swords. Why are the Six of Swords? I think their their true intentions is to move into something of a higher level of commitment and maybe they may be at a crossroads about it. So maybe at some point in time this is someone who want who intentions is to kind of like move to a better state or have a relationship or a connection here. At least that's their intentions, but it's like they're choosing themselves right now. And you, and cancer your intentions is to move things forward, but you're in your feelings too. Oh boy, what's the possible outcome? What's the possible outcome for this? For now until the end of September. What can you tell me? What can you tell me, please? Ace of Pentacles? King of Pentacles. What's the outcome here for this situation? And the sun in reverse. Why is all this happening? The emperor's in reverse. A lack of growth. A, a lack of things getting off the ground. Show me this ace of pentacles. King of swords in reverse. What is this king of pentacles? The ten of cups. Show me the sun in reverse. And the devil card. Why is the devil card there? Somebody here. I don't know. This, is, this doesn't look like it's a healthy situation. Ugh. So it's like there's this energy of wanting to have a new beginning but acting very cold or very attached or somebody here doesn't express their emotions easily okay so it's kind of like yeah i want to have this new beginning but it's like it's not being expressed or it's not being known or somebody here is kind of like putting on a facade or acting very cold and very detached Why the why the devil and the sun in reverse? I do see you guys being withdrawn. I don't feel like there's a decision that's going to be made. I feel like eventually at some point in time something's gonna be dropped or someone's gonna get dropped here. 
and somebody's gonna be very sad about it or very unhappy when it comes to this i i see ultimately somebody here just kind of like just ignoring or not making a decision about this or just withdrawing you could be the one with the capricorn here but i'm getting at some point in time somebody here is not going to be happy with the decision that somebody is going to be making okay because there's no growth, there's no expansion, nothing's happening here. And I feel like eventually somebody here is going to be somebody. But this is a process, okay? This is going to be throughout time where it looks like to me. So it's like, yeah, I want to offer you this, but I'm going to act very cold and detached, okay? For some of you, there could be family involved. But I'm getting that there's somebody here that's definitely still wanting to have this relationship or wanting to have this end all be all. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like that's going to be working out in somebody's favor, which is going to lead someone to be very unhappy. This could have been a toxic situation. If that was the case, you could just be in the with a Capricorn. But that's what I'm getting here. So if it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you on the next video. Bye.